So here we are in the bustling city of Orange, a uh, population of 40,000, and it is our final stop on this wonderful journey that my family and I have had the privilege of, uh, of completing. We've come a long way in kilometres, and we've come a long way in, in video style. I've got my uh, son Max walking backwards as we speak here today, so it's testing him out on this final one. Now, love Orange, gotta love Orange. Um, I love what it, um, what it feels like when you drive through it. I love its shops. I love the mountains to ride on. Um, I love the fact that uh, hundreds of years ago, these trees have, uh, have been, um, uh, I suppose, uh, planted with the foresight of what they'd actually look like today. It's just a beautiful city. So you're only three hours from Sydney and you're four hours from Canberra. The proximity to those two uh, cities is magnificent and obviously you've got um, Orange Airport to fly around the country from. Uh, median price is around 500,000, which I think is extremely affordable given that we're only three hours from Sydney uh, and that journey is getting shorter and shorter uh, by the year. Vacancy rates are less than half a percent so a lot of things going for, for a city like Orange, especially with Sydney and soon to be Canberra being extremely unaffordable. Uh, surrounding towns uh, are also vibing with, um, with increased population. So your Dubbo's and, and even little ones like Millthorpe and then you've got Parks and Forbes. There's gold mines that are still very active. Uh, lot, lots of good shops around for the locals and generally a lot of people from Sydney moving out to to reside in, in this sort of um, environment. It, it's really four seasons, so you've got the, the cold minus fives in winter, and then you've got the heat in summer, but everything in between. So all in all, I really enjoyed Orange. Um, our, our family really rated it highly as well, and the skate park was about an eight, I think, Max, so that's a positive. Uh, but I suppose from, from a whole trip point of view, we've seen so many different things. We've seen the south coast, uh, which you've got your million dollar suburbs. We've seen a lot of country like Broken Hill where you've only got two or three hundred thousand dollar medium price um, towns. And then you've got beautiful spots such as Orange and Dubbo along the way. So I've learned a whole heap. Um, it's been great to get to know the locals along the way. Our, our families benefited greatly from the experience of, of taking kids out of school for that term. So. Um, there's an angry dog. <laughs> uh, if I give you one tip, if you've got a family, don't waste a minute. Go and do that. Uh, you, you won't regret that. But uh, I, th I want to thank everyone for their support through this 12, 13 weeks, or however long it's been. Um, and if you want any more details around the specific towns and suburbs that we visited, please sing out. Uh, but really appreciate you uh, you tuning in and listening to the to the garbage that I've been talking um, over the last few months and uh, I look forward to catching you up soon. Thanks guys.